My name is William, and today my dreams will come true. Anno Domini 2088. Humankind extinguished all the resources on Earth. This led to war, political crisis, and natural catastrophes. Then, planet Eden was discovered, a habitable planet full of resources. The governments of the world began collaborating. In three years, a spaceship able to bring the whole of humankind to Eden was built. We got on board and began our cryogenic sleep. But something went wrong. Nobody knows precisely what happened, nor how much time had passed. When the emergency system woke us up, we discovered that we were not on Eden, but on a completely different planet. The Great Admiral took charge of the situation and began guiding the colony to the repair of the spaceship. He developed a new way of living called circular economy. Everything that is produced is easy to repair, so that only the faulty parts need to be replaced. Wastes are instantaneously recycled and the raw materials re-extract. It's not easy to live with this new lifestyle, as every step of the manufacture needs to be carefully designed. But it is paying off, our colony is growing, and life is not that hard after all. Circular economy is working and the spaceship is being repaired. We all know that our sacrifices will be compensated when we will finally reach planet Eden and we will be able to go back to our old ways of life. Starting today, I'll be able to play a role in the reconstruction. From today, I'll be a raw material scout. Who knows what secret materials lie below our feet. Today, something incredible happened. During our last recon, we discovered something similar to a building. I'm really excited. We never found anything like this. Maybe this planet was inhabited by a civilization. Maybe they had to escape as we did from Earth. I have a strange feeling. The more we work around that building, the more I feel like I've been there before. A lot of people started having the same feeling lately. Doctors say it's just a side effect of the cryogenic sleep. I asked the permission to check the database. They refused. They are right. I should just focus on my work. It's a post office. It's a damn post office. This is the hurt. We are not on a faraway planet. This is our home. We never left. I sneaked inside the spaceship and managed to access the main database. God, it was plain in sight, but we never noticed. A single spaceship couldn't carry so many people. The great Admir is behind all of this. While we were sleeping, he postponed the general awakening time to thousands of years in the future, so that the landscape around us became unrecognizable. When we awoke, he took control of our society. Even his marvelous theories of growth do not belong to him at all. Circular economy was already available in 2020, and so were easily repairable devices. People just didn't care enough to consider them. We would rather have the latest phone at small cost than to notice where we were heading to. What shall I do? If I tell everybody the truth, they might start wasting all the raw material once again. This new society, based on the circular economy, is working. We are slowly rebuilding not only the spaceship, but our whole planet. It's a paradox. We are living our best life ever, and in doing so, we are giving new life to our world. But it, is it really life if it's lived in a lie? I wish people understood sooner that the hurt is all we have and that we need to make a conscious effort to preserve it.